Hey everybody, welcome to Baseline Week. Baseline Week uh, is sometimes met with some trepidation and anxiety, and it really doesn't need to be. Baseline Week should be approached no different than any other week that you're coming to do workouts. We would like to see you as many times as possible, hopefully getting all five days in with Saturday being an option to make up one that you just couldn't get into the gym or you need a break on Wednesday. So you come in on Saturday and we make the time available for you to do that workout. So baseline week as a whole, we're just looking for it to be a snapshot of your fitness right now in this moment. We're not trying to game it. We're not trying to do extra to have a better score. We're also not trying to take it easy to have a low score so we have a false sense of being fitter in 10 to 12 weeks. So just go about the workouts as you normally would. Put what you have for that day into it and we'll know what your fitness looks like across broad time and modal domains. There's some CrossFit catchphrases for you. So. Quick overview, Monday we're gonna do an eight minutes or less workout with some barbell cycling. Tuesday, we're gonna go heavy. We're gonna test a heavy lift and then we're gonna do a variation of that heavy lift in a workout. Then on Wednesday, we go long. We're gonna test a longer time domain. Can you keep moving at a lower output for a longer period of time? Thursday, we test something in that time domain that we always live in, 10 to 15 minutes with some uh, heavy breathing. So we're gonna go that thing we're used to. That's our bread and butter day. And then on Friday, we test gymnastic or body weight movements with a little bit of cardio probably mixed in there. Well, there is, so you'll see. Um, anyway, and then Saturday, like I said, it's your chance to make up one if you haven't done it. We'll also have a workout available. If you've done all of baseline week and you need to do something else, we'll have a, a side workout that won't really count towards baseline week, but we'll have a workout for those of you who have completed everything. So let's talk about Monday's workout. All right, Monday's baseline week workout, testing eight minutes or less is called over and out. You have four time, 20 power snatches. at 75 pounds for the guys, 55 for the ladies, then 20 lateral bar burpees, then 20 front squats, then 20 more lateral bar burpees, and then 20 more power snatches. That's it. Just finish that in eight minutes or less, get your score, and we'll get fitter and test it again in 10, 12 weeks. All right, so let's talk about some options and variations and attack strategies and everything with this workout. All right, guys, so if you've uh, already checked out the workout description, which hopefully you have, you'll see that we have an RX plus option again of overhead squats. You'll still put in for sugar wad that you RXed it, but type in your notes that you did overhead squats instead. You do have to still demonstrate this motion, this movement to the coach prior to the workout that you can move it well and do it efficiently and safely. So make sure that you can do that. It is a lightweight barbell lift today. It's meant to be light for everyone. We want you to move the bar fast and well. So for the 20 power snatches, we want a weight that we could do 15 of them unbroken probably if we had to. But this is where we should balance the could versus the should. In that first time through those power snatches, you're going to be fresh. Could you go 20 unbroken? Maybe. Should you? Probably not. One quick break, Two quick breaks will not hurt your time in the long run, but it will help you move faster on those burpees, help you be more stable and smooth on your overhead squats. And then you can start to push the pace on that second round when you're coming into the finish line through those burpees and set yourself up well to go big and maybe with a less breaks the second time through on those power snatches. So choose the weight wisely, move well, focus on that, just do the workout. Don't sweat this being baseline week. We just want a snapshot of who you are right now inside of the gym. So have fun guys, hit this one hard. We'll see you all week with more baseline workouts and see you in class. 
I'm not done yet. At home folks and outdoor folks, this workout is the same for you. If you have a barbell and you would like to do it as written at home, awesome, go for it. If you don't, single dumbbell, we're gonna do alternating dumbbell power snatches, same rep scheme. It's gonna be 50 for the guys, 35 for the ladies. Modify if you need to. If you have a light weight at home and you're not sure should you up the reps or something like that, message one of the coaches. We would be happy to help you with modifying this to be an appropriate test for you. Or just do the 20 and you're gonna retest it the same. Maybe, in 10 to 12 weeks, you're comfortable, you're back in the gym if you're doing this at home today, and you are nervous that you don't know how to retest this one. We will go back, we will look at the fact that you did this at home, and when we hit the gym in that 10 to 12 weeks, you can do the workout alongside of everyone else with the dumbbell, do the same workout you did, and we'll have that accurate representation of your fitness level, how it was now versus then. So now we can have fun, hit it hard, and see you again tomorrow for another baseline workout. Bye guys.